If you want to use ManyChat for WhatsApp automation, you need to get approved for the WhatsApp Business API. And if you are not approved, there are only 10 people that can talk to your WhatsApp chatbot. Hi, I'm John from Chatomize, and in this video, I will show you which WhatsApp policies you need to be complying with and how you can get approved for the WhatsApp Business API so that you can use ManyChat for WhatsApp automation. Let's dive in. Before you apply for the WhatsApp Business API, it is good to know which policies you need to be compliant with. And there are two important policies. You have the WhatsApp Business Policy and the WhatsApp Commerce Policy. And I will explain them both. So with the WhatsApp Business Policy, there are three main important points that you need to understand. The first point is that WhatsApp wants to create a quality experience on their app. So this means that you're not allowed to spam people and send messages when those users don't want to receive those messages. So they don't want to become the next email where everyone gets bombarded with messages and everyone is spamming each other. We don't want that on WhatsApp. So it's really important that WhatsApp wants to have a quality experience and you need to ensure that quality experience with your own business account. The second point is the opt-in for WhatsApp. And there are two ways of opting in. The first way is that a user can fill in a form, for example, on your website, giving their phone number and giving you the permission to send them a message on WhatsApp. That's the first way of opt-in. So they give you the phone number and give you the permission that you can WhatsApp them. The other way is that a user on WhatsApp directly messages you. So if the user starts the conversation on WhatsApp, this is the other way of opting in to your WhatsApp chatbot. And the third point that's really important with the WhatsApp business policy are the message rules. So every time a user sends a message to your WhatsApp chatbot, a 24 hour window will open. And within this 24 hour window, you can send any message to the user with absolutely no constraints. But outside the 24 hour window, you can only send a message according to specific use cases. And these specific use cases are called message templates. And an example of a message template is for example, a booking confirmation. And I will not go into that in this specific video, but just know that you have 24 hours to respond to every message. So the other policy, which is really important is the WhatsApp commerce policy. And in the WhatsApp commerce policy, it is stated what is accepted on WhatsApp and what is not accepted. So for example, illegal products or services are not accepted. Drugs are not accepted. Tobacco items are not accepted. So if you're a business and you don't know whether you're compliant with the WhatsApp commerce policy, I will just go through this policy and just look whether you are compliant with this policy. And I will add the link to both policies in the description. So once you know that you're both compliant with the WhatsApp business policy and the WhatsApp commerce policy, we can start by verifying our business. So what you then need to do is just go to business.facebook.com. Then you need to select the right business. So in this tutorial, I will be using Chatomize test. Then you need to click on settings. And then you need to click on more business settings. And then if you scroll down, you need to click on business info. And here you will see your business verification status. And as you can see, my business is currently unverified. So then I just click on view details. And then I can start the verification. But before I'm going to do that, it could also be the case that you cannot click on this button. Then it has a different color. It's a bit of light blue and you cannot click on it. And how you can solve this is just go to facebook.com and then go to the settings of your personal profile. So you can just click on this arrow, then select settings and privacy and select settings and then click on security and login. And then you have here the two factor authentication. And for my profile, it's currently on, but often when you cannot click this specific button, it is because you don't have two-factor authentication enabled. And once you have two-factor authentication enabled, you most often can click on this button and start the WhatsApp business verification. So just click on start verification. 
and here you need to fill in all kinds of information so you need to fill in the legal name of your business the country the street address the city so I will just do this the country will be the Netherlands once I've filled this in I will click on next and because I filled in a certain address Facebook automatically recognizes the different businesses that are registered on this address so when I click on one of those and say that I'm the owner of those businesses it gets way easier to verify your business but let's say none of these match so then we can click on next and then we need to give some legal documents to Facebook and what I also had with a client of mine is that the name of his Facebook page was not the same as his official business name. And what we then did is we went to the Chamber of Commerce and we asked if we could extend his legal documents so that his Facebook page name was included as a trade name. And we did that, we extended his legal documents, uploaded these legal documents to Facebook and he got approved for the WhatsApp business API. So if that's also the case with you, that your Facebook page is not the same as the name of your official business name, then I would say even if Facebook is recognizing your business, I would say none of these match and then upload the official documents with your Facebook page as a trade name in your legal documents in the Chamber of Commerce. But in my case, I can just select my business and I click on next then I have all these different information then I will set the address click on next again and then I will, can choose my verification method and because Facebook automatically recognizes my business it is way easier so I can just confirm it by they calling to the business contact phone number sending an email to me or verifying it with my business domain so I will just click on text me now and then I get a verification code from Facebook. So then I will fill it in and then I click on submit. So when I click on submit, I've officially verified my business and then Facebook will take some days to verify whether I get approved for the WhatsApp business API. And when you get approved for the WhatsApp business API, you will get a direct email from Facebook saying that you got approved. When you don't get approved for the WhatsApp business API, that could also be the case you can just start the approval again so then you can just go back to your business info and start this process again and again until you get approved and this complete process usually takes between 5 and 15 working days so it can take a bit of time before you get approved for the whatsapp business api but i'm not going to click on submit because this is a test account and i don't want to verify my test account but when i go to my official account you can see how it looks when you get verified so when I go to whatsapp accounts then I go to settings and then here you see that the business verification is verified and the account status is approved and that is what you will see when you get approved for the whatsapp business API and that was it that is how you can get approved for the whatsapp business API and use ManyChat for whatsapp automation if you have any questions on how you can use ManyChat and whatsapp together please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.